Okay, we're here with Attorney General Martha Coakley. Welcome to Blue Mask Group. Thank you. <laughs> um, as as the chief of she's chief law enforcement officer of Massachusetts, um, what what's the connection that you see between what's happening here in Denver and and what your job is back home and what you're trying to accomplish as the attorney general? Well, clearly, even in my first 18 months as attorney general, it's so clear to me that the federal government, particularly this Bush administration, has is completely um, been asleep at the switch. As somebody said, they don't even know where the switch is on so many issues, whether it's the environment, whether it's the economy, whether it's other consumer issues, whether it's this war. And it, I, I've, I've had great um, success, I think, with my other attorneys general looking at what can states do about environmental protection? What can we do on this predatory lending problem? Uh, what should we be doing to try and even out this incredible unbalanced field between big corporate America and what, you know, people who uh, are, are the, 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 the middle class and people who are struggling to, to make a living. And so um, we need a change in Washington because there's only so much we can do at a state level. There's a lot of areas where we are preempted, um, but I have seen up close and personal where uh, this is just an administration that not only has not done well, they have done damage to a good economy uh, and to our future. Uh, and it is up to us, who are good Democrats, who, it's not just about the politics, it's about the government. And I think um, I am impressed with um, the intelligence of Barack Obama, his willingness to work, his, his understanding of what these issues are about. And I'm convinced he'll put together a top-notch team, unlike our current administration, to address these issues. And we need good scientists, we need good political scientists, uh, we need engineers, we need the best and the brightest to come together to say, how are we going to resolve these problems um, and put them to work? Because it's not just about the ideas, it's the execution of those ideas. Um, you uh, were a, a, a proud supporter of Hillary Clinton in the primaries, and you spoke very eloquently to that the other day. But just for the record, and just to restate it, um, can you just sort of talk us through where, where the Hillary supporters are uh, in terms, I mean, she, of course, uh, was an incredible leader uh, uh, over the last two days at, at the convention. In the convention, with her delegation the other day at, at an Emily's List event, she made it very clear that this was about not the candidate who was going to win, but getting a Democrat in the White House. And I think her support of Obama uh, and her criticism of McCain was authentic. It was right on the money. Um, and I am convinced, because I, I know everybody in this delegation, uh, as much as women felt very strongly that they wanted to show their support for her and pay her the salute that she deserved for changing changing history for women. Um, I think everybody in this room, and I am hopeful that people in Massachusetts are going to recognize that whatever differences we had in terms of candidates prior to tonight, tonight and tomorrow, and until November, this is about getting Barack Obama in the White House. I think we can do it. I think he can uh, provide that leadership. And I think when people get behind the emotion of a tough candidacy for both, and I think that that campaign sharpened his arguments, it tested him, uh, it showed what a leader she can be, she can go back to the Senate and do some incredible stuff with the Democratic President of the White House. I think it's a win-win. I think this was a great process this week, but my sense is that everybody here today is united behind Barack Obama, and they're enthusiastic about him, as am I. It's not just, oh, we have to elect the Democrat. I am very hopeful um, that his, his youth, uh, he's, he's, he's younger than many of us here, uh, and I can sense that he is part of this generation that gets the technology, gets the importance of bringing everybody in. But providing strong leadership, providing organization, providing a way, as I said earlier, to execute the great ideas that he has. And I am more than confident that he will be a great president, and we can convince everybody that this is what we need. Not just, be, not just because the Bush administration is so bad. Let me make that clear. It's not just because Bush has been such a disaster and McCain would continue that. I think he is an incredibly powerful and charismatic leader. Uh, and I think he is something different. And I think he will be able to marshal people around that. Not everybody, because that's the way this works. But uh, we get a majority in this country. He will change this country for the good of everybody in it. Uh, going back to Massachusetts, what do you see as the priorities of your office? Uh, for the next uh, two years, heading into the uh, in, into your next, sure. what I assume is re-election, but uh, uh, that's what we're working <laughs> on. We're here in the first 18 months, and it's already time for re-election. Um, it has been a fascinating first 18 months, and some of the issues we have found, and some have found us, and we have worked very hard, for instance, on a lot of the predatory lending issues. Um, we continue to do that by bringing lawsuits and by changing regulations, but also trying to work 
with a lot of the major paper holders now to, to get mortgages restructured. Again, this isn't just about bringing lawsuits or holding people accountable. There are a lot of folks who, and I'm, we're trying to have the conversation with a lot of the banks, and I think they're starting to see that foreclosing on houses is not a good option for them. They hold worthless paper. But if we can really work to restructure some of these mortgages, we can change it for the consumers, we can change it for the cities and towns that are worried about abandoned property. Um, and it's a win-win well, that the banks can get people who are paying maybe not what they were, but something on their houses. Energy is a huge issue. How do we plan for that? How do we protect the rate payer? How do we get clean energy? And we have a very active both uh, uh, environmental department. Remember, uh, we're the ones who sued the um, Environmental Protection Agency and won, I will tell you, with this Supreme Court, which means that our arguments had to be pretty good. Um, and our um, uh, Energy and Telecommunications Division has been doing a lot of work around with the new Green Communities Act. How are we going to get clean, efficient energy for Massachusetts? And it's a regional issue. Um, we have been working very diligently on our cybercrime initiative, making sure that all of our local police understand what digital evidence is about, um, protecting kids on the internet, working with industry around what we need to do to bring government up to take advantage of this technology, but also to make sure that we protect people from identity theft, protect kids from predators online. Um, and it is, it's just been a fascinating time for me to approach all these and work with the incredible staff that we have at the Andrews office. How have you found the transition from uh, the DA's office, whose principal concern, I guess, is, is criminal prosecution, exactly. right, into right. the Attorney General's office, which has so much more going on on the civil side? You know, I will tell you that um, I've, I've called back on all of my civil prior experience, although some things have changed since that. Um, certainly being a prosecutor helps in terms of the way you look at a case and analyze it. Uh, but what's been interesting for me is that because I didn't have a primary and because I had a, uh, a relatively easy race, I spent a lot of that campaign time getting out and talking to folks about what's on your mind, what are your issues, what do I need to know? And I listen pretty well. Tell me about what what is business concerned about? What's labor concerned about? Um, what do we have to do around this energy stuff? Where are we going with insurance rates? And so I, I think I used that time constructively to get a handle on the issues, to build a good team. We hit the ground running in January. We were ready for a lot of stuff that came at us pretty quickly. Um, but I can tell you that we've, I think, grown into that office very well. There's tremendous staff there. I brought some great talent in. Um, and I think my ability to both look at the small problem and see how it fits into the larger problem and bring the right people. And I don't pretend to do all that myself. Nobody does. Um, but I think we've been very successful at sending the message out to the community. Labor and business, we want to hear from you. Um, the uh, consumer protection folks, what, what are the issues on your minds and what do we need to do? Um, and we still have a lot of work to do, but I'm, I'm confident that we're, we've made a good first start and we're going to continue doing that work. Thank you so much. Thank you.